Tony, thank you very much for the time. I really appreciate it. Let's get right into it. What was your reaction when you found out that Khabib Nurmagomedov wouldn't be able to fight at UFC 249, that he was back home in Russia and appears now for the fifth time, the fight is off? Uh, obviously, I was very upset. I feel more for everybody else that's actually going through some hard times. Um, it's, it's a little bit different. I'm, I'm, of course, a little bit pissed. He had the opportunity to stay here, or he was in Abu Dhabi, had the chance to be able to come back before the borders were closed in Russia. Decided to go back into Dagestan. Uh, did not finish this camp. The guy does not want to fight. He's scared. He's running. He should be stripped of his title. Uh, he was doing his training camp in San Jose. When you heard that he had left San Jose and went home, did you know back then that the fight was off, or were you holding out hope that there was a way that he'd be able to come back, or perhaps that you would be able to go and do this fight overseas? I would say either or, man. I, I'm always down to fight anybody, anytime, anywhere, unless the circumstances are completely different. But the fight's against Khabib, man. This is the guy that everybody just wants to fight. So if he wants to just fight, there's no... Uh, you know, I, I get what he wanted to do. You know, obviously he's here. He's, you know, his family's back home in Dagestan. It's, it is what you got to do, but he had the opportunity and he did the exact same thing at UFC 209. He knew that he wasn't cutting weight very good. He said it already that he was already uh, having a hard time cutting weight, focusing and doing everything else like that. To me, that right there, he's running away. He ran away. He obviously knew what he could do to, to help save this card. He didn't want to take any of those chances. He, um... You know, I mean, everybody's taking risks trying to do this stuff, but he bailed out, man. It's uh, it's, it's pretty hard to explain, but he, he bailed out, man. Has the UFC officially told you that that fight is off and that now they are looking for a new opponent for you on April 18th? They have been trying to find me a new opponent. Um, there's a couple of names that went across, but even this morning, you know what I mean? They, they said that they were going to allow flights out as far as... Khabib goes, man. He has the power and he has the opportunities to be able to take a private plane, come back, finish his training camp, and be able to do UFC 249 for all the people and for everybody else that's out there. Uh, to give a little bit more hope and to, to people that are staying at home and trying to get through this. Uh, he does not want to fight. He, he, I guarantee you this dude's going to try to retire, man, without fighting me. Are you considering if the, the Khabib fight does in fact not come to fruition. Are you considering any of the names? The name I reported is Justin Gaethje that's been presented to you. Are you interested in fighting a Justin Gaethje on April 18th? The dude's got a 4-2 and two record, man. He's got a half. When all these things happen, when they strip me of my belt, I end up, uh, remember when I said it was gonna, it's like a round-robin tournament. I had to fight everybody. I fought everybody that was in the top five. And I knocked them all out or I finished them in, in great fashion. And uh, here we go. We're back in kind of the same spot. It's like UFC trying to play keep away with me. Uh, nothing against the game in the UFC. I know they got to make their money and stuff like that. I'm the champ. I got my championship shirt on. I have my belt right here right now because we're here at practice, man. I'm still doing my thing right here. I'm about to get down and dirty. And uh, it doesn't matter who we have. We're going to try to make this thing go. So at least some of the people in the world have a little bit of hope. You know what I mean? Because the guys that are really doing it are the doctors and the nurses, the people taking care of everybody. Um, we can do our little bit of part to try to make something happen. I'm down for that. But uh, obviously, this is a worldwide pandemic. And my thoughts and prayers go out to everybody that's affected, and especially everybody that's helping. So if we can do something to kind of help it, I'm down for it. But it's got to be right. Do you have any concerns about training during this time, about fighting on April 18th? You know, other sports have shut down right now. Do you have any concerns about that? Obviously, man. They pushed the Olympics back to, what, another year? Kind of messed things up. Um, NBA, MLB, MLS, everything, man, just, just went to, I mean, even school were off. They're closing borders and they're doing everything. If anybody's going to pull it off, Dana in the UFC, Sean and Hunter, those guys are going to make it happen. These guys are all for the company to making sure that, uh, they're doing the diligence, making sure that everybody's safe and, and stuff. you got to believe that when Dana says it, you know, when we're with them, we're in the best kind of company around. And you can't, I'm a company man, I'm going to be real. I've always been for the last couple of years. Eight years, Ariel, I've been doing the exact same thing. Two, and work. I really don't go anywhere else and do anything else besides with my family and just my close circle of friends. I keep it very, very tight knit. And uh, nothing's been changed, man. That's why I'm very successful in my, in my art, man, and especially in the sport. It's because consistency times effort is confidence. So, as of right this moment, last question, Tony. What could you tell us about? 
the status of your involvement on April 18th? Do you know where this fight is happening, the location of the event, the status of you fighting someone else? The message to the people is what right now, as things stand here we are two and a half weeks away from the event. What could you tell us? All my, my supporters, I'll call fans, supporters of everybody that watches UFC, we're trying to make something happen. Uh, I'm training, I'm not stopping training. Uh, my weight is good. Uh, I'm very strong. We just did five rounds the other day, and uh, one of my sparring partners, we did really, really well. Uh, small goes sparring. I mean, I'm good to go, but as long as everything else makes sense, it, you know, we, we can make this fight happen. We don't know where the location's at. I'm not going to say yes or no to an opponent unless we have a, 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 a unless we have a location. If you don't have a location, how are you expecting to prepare? I was like, I don't need 24 hours. Give me a couple hours to figure out what we got to do. Let me talk to my team, and then we can go from there. We had maybe I don't know how many different locations, and we've been told to wait that same day, or we're going to have an answer for it. And pins and needles over here after practice and I'm tired as heck man and I want to go home I want to take my eyes fast I want to do my stuff and I can't because we're waiting to see if this dang fight is going to happen either way the one thing I know is I'm going to stay consistent with my training and it doesn't matter uh, what location you know you can drop me off on Khabib's front doorstep man and that dude still will not fight he will out it's defender vacate Ariel that dude needs to be stripped I don't know I haven't saw anything in the news this morning about the flights and everything Rumor was it that he said basically he's like I gotta you know take care of my family my health and everything man bro you have an obligation you signed up on the dotted line to be uh, representing not just your country right because that's what you said you, you represent your country and you do everything you, you, you ran bro you listened to your pops and you did everything that you could to possibly avoid an ass whooping now to me in my opinion nobody else deserves that ass whooping besides two people that's McNuggets and Team Tiramisu that's the beef number to and Conor McGregor. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.